Hi there, Steve Zane here. Today I want to talk to you about a Marine Canvas Track to Track book I put out a few years ago. You know, Marine Canvas Track to Track, Seven Secrets Insider, Insider Information. This book I put together is not, not a book meant to be read. This is, a, this is a reference book. You can read through it, but there's just too much detail that goes into it. it talks about uh, 31 different types of tracks that are available, whether it's a, a triple track, flex flex rail, a costa track, some double tracks, um, and a handful of different aluminum type tracks that are out there in the marketplace. This book will give you the resources of the, every type of track, also show you pictures of, of the thing, uh, the, the tracks being in use, and also see, show you picture, finished pictures of boat enclosures. So if you're doing any kind of canvas track to track enclosures, it's, it's a how-to book on, on tips and tricks. I accumulated through travel. I've gone take not only my own work from working on little 16 foot boats all the way up to 200 foot yachts. Um, I also travel a lot, a lot of the major boat shows like Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, Miami Boat Show, Detroit Metro Boat Show, New Jersey uh, Boat Show, Seattle Boat Show, Australia, New Zealand, taking photographs of other people's work. So I did not just work that I've compiled of jobs I've done, but also stuff I compiled from several other several other marine fabricators. In my in my travels, I've been into 1,800 different marine canvas shops around the country, uh, and a few in Turkey and in Australia. So I pick up little tips, little tricks from I picked up from people like there. On the back of the book has a lot more information on it, uh, about the book, but everything is in color photographs, 397 photographs, or 497 pictures, 322 pages. Say so this book is more of a more of a reference. Um, some of the, you go on Amazon, you see a lot of a lot of uh, book reviews, a lot of five star reviews out of there. Uh, here's a review from Dan Lesh, Lesh Boat Covers in Norwalk. Every Marine Canvas shop should have one. I have read with great interest every word and looked at every one of the hundreds of pictures and advanced copy of Steve Zanet's book on track to track installations. He claims there are seven insider secrets to the perfect track. I say there is at least one hundred and seven. I've been in the marine canvas trade for over 40 years and found this book to be packed with ideas and tips on tracks to use with would be very helpful to fabricators at all skill levels. Mark Hood, Hood Marine Canvas Training. Over 30 years ago when I was cutting my teeth in marine canvas, there was no schools and, and very few books on marine canvas. I have learned the hard way through the trial and error. Steve brings his years of expertise fabricating track to track enclosures to life in a very clear and concise way in his book, Marine Canvas Track to Track. It's a must read for all those in the trade or thinking of entering it. Chris Ritzma from uh, Canvas Innovations. I'm happy to endorse Steve's book, uh, Insider Information. Gives a wealth of information. Uh, well, Bennett, um, yeah, I'm a fan of this book, sarcastically, because it gives out way too many secrets. David Elliott, Aust uh, Brisbane, Australia. This book is an inspiration every trim shop who wants to advance should have a copy on hand to refer to. I get un un unbelievable amount of uh, um, reviews about the book. Uh, my personal story, 1967, my father opened a canvas shop. And I started working there probably in 1974 out of high school, working part-time, working on a lot of other things. And then I worked there for until the late 90s, and then I moved to South Florida and started working on some of the bigger yachts. Currently, I live in Panama City Beach, Florida, and uh, travel around the world. But it's a, it's a great resource for people that want to know more on how to do a track to track enclosures. It's it's challenging to do, but with the book here, it helps lay out all the steps, how to tips. Uh, contribute author is Michael Varga, from Ocean City, Maryland, at Canvas Experts. Michael's Gives me a lot of ideas on how he's helped design some of the tracks and working with boats and some of the bigger yachts, sport fishing boats and things like that he's worked on. I mean, th there are seven secrets in this book on how to do it. First, se the secret is starting with the end in mind. What do you want to accomplish when you're working on, the, when you're trying to design a boat enclosure? It's not just a square object. you got to make it creative looking and functional for the boat owner, the fisherman, the, the, the daytime yacht or whatever it's going to be. Second secret is selecting the right types of tracks. I've got 31 different types of tracks. There's more out there in the market available. You can have design if you need something, if you have a big application or app application for it. 
Uh, third secret is what kind of fasteners would you use? All these kind of stuff is in the book. Fasteners and types of tapes to use. Secret four, heating and forming. How to most attractive PVC. With enough heat, proper heat, done the right way, you can form and bend this to do anything you like. You can turn it into a pretzel. You can bend it on in 90 degree radius. And then with heat, you can also put it back to its natural state. So you can put it back to it. Uh, secret number five, cutting tools and sanders. The book goes through some of the pictures, many pictures of how to, of with the cutting tracks, uh, sanders, and how to, to notch and uh, make openings. Uh, that's, that's that's secret number six is notch notches and openings. You got a complete enclosure on a track and close on a boat. You need to slide your enclosures away. Step six shows you on how to op make the opening so that the water doesn't keep come in. So it's very very minimal notice about where the opening is. So it's very nice and clean looked on the job. And number seven, the probably the biggest secret is patterning. The proper patterning technique can make or break your your, your job. I say chapter one has has uh, introduction about stuff. Uh, chapter two, you'll see. It gives a picture and detail of every type of track and listing of what tracks are out there. Chapter three is track track preparation. What do you need to do to make your track ready to go? What do you need to do to prepare the boat so that you, your adhesive, your your uh, tapes will stick to it better? What type of screws are you going to use? You're going to use a machine screw. You're going to use a, a sheet metal screw. Um, some applications when you have the fiberglass is really thick and it's on a curve instead of drilling with a sheet metal screw sometimes you can drill and tap the fiberglass a machine screw will tap into it better and, and you have less chance of cracking in the fiberglass chapter four is on drilling and tapping chapter five is fasteners and tapes chapter six is all, what type of heating tools are available from the buy it off the shelf at, uh, at the store or even to your own custom made build, build your own Number seven is, is cutting tools and sanders. Number eight is insulation of track, the proper way to install a track on a boat. Chapter nine, H-tube. H-tube is designed for a bimini top, but it can be used for a track application. There's pictures of that, how to make an enclosure using the H-tubing. Uh, chapter 10 is notches and exit points for PVC track. Number 11 is working with aluminum track. There's different types, here's aluminum, Flex rail style track, there's aluminum flange type track, anywhere from six millimeter all the way up to 14 millimeter diameter. Here is a, it's a double track of aluminum and it's, and it's kind of got a concave, concave to it to fit against an aluminum pipe if you want to. Uh, chapter 12 talks about patterning. Uh, when you're doing a track to track, you have to be very precise and it shows you where to mark on your tracks when you make pattern your enclosure. Without the proper pattern, you're going to end up with a, uh, an enclosure either too tight or too baggy and, and, and it flops in the wind. So that's another good tip. Chapter 13 goes in, uh, touches on triangulation. Uh, you can go to a boat with an enclosure track already installed and with, with a tape measure and a pencil and paper, you can draw out your enclosure. Sometimes you can't get up, up above the windshield there or above the, above the helm. You got a short panels like this, you can't get in to do a pattern. You know, you don't have to get on the outside, put tape, come back on the inside and mark. With triangulation, next, you can draw out the pattern, go back to your, draw out your enclosure panel, go back to your shop and actually build your enclosure to fit that. And it slides in there perfectly every time. Um, chapter 14 talks on track to snap applications. Sometimes you only have track at the top, and you get snaps at the bottom. Chapter 15 is Track your zipper or snap application so you can unzip, snap it down, and still put your hand in all there so that by the advantage of that, you slide in the track, and at the bottom of it, snap, you don't have to get on the outside of the boat to snap. You can unzip the bottom, there's a zipper along the bottom, you can unzip it, tension it down, snap it, and then zip it tight. When you zip it tight, it makes that enclosure pull down really tight, and then you have a nice track to track application without having to install track, additional track on the windshield. Chapter 16 is track to track enclosures. It shows examples of tracks and different type of boat enclosures from 18 foot boat all the way up to 200 foot yachts. Uh, here's a picture of a track to track enclosure. I did a flex rail on the whole inside of a, on a bow and a 31 foot Cape Horn where I made a complete zip on bow cover so to keep the water out with a nice, nice protection. The, the customer can climb underneath it to store 
or if you want to if you want to sleep out on his open open center console boat. Chapter 18 is double tracks in use. Why do you use a double track and what, what application you want? Sometimes you want an enclosure panel, you got two panels side by side, you don't want to you don't want to unroll it or you can actually double track, you're able to slide one panel inside of the other so that you got to slide and it's easier for more ventilation and you don't have this the curtain rolled up and hanging down in your face. Uh, chapter sub, uh, 18 is double track in use, I just said that. And then chapter 19 is double track monitor rail. Here's where you take two flat flange pieces of PVC track, you, you glue them together, and now you got a back rail on the boat. This will go up against there, and now you can put an enclosure panel to the top, and then one down to the deck. So now you got like two separate curtains with one piece of track. For the same for the same thing. Uh, chapter 20, triple track in use. Why would you want a triple track? Sometimes on the back of a boat. You got three panels back there. You got a you got a um, a hard top. It's got a kind of curve to it. Or you want to hook off a bimini top. You you build your top or build your flange your your flap. You hook this in there. Now you can do a double track and you still slide your panel. So you got three panels. One two three. You want to undo, unzip the door. You can slide the door over or unzip and slide these two panels this way. So it gives you that option to make more better use of the boat for the customer. The, also, with a lot of these track applications, you can get out there and you can offer something your competition is not doing. So you can upsell yourself, able able to do a better project, uh, make it make it your your boat the, the the customer's boat stand out and make it look really very unique. Uh, there's a, even a sole boat. Uh, here it is. It's a sole boat keto welt. Instead of the instead or track, instead of having the track solid PVC, we have to screw it to the boat. This one here, you got a bimini top with instead of a zipper on there, you can sew this down the side of the whole side of the bimini top on the on the port or starboard. And now you could put two curtains in there, and, and then you can slide. You can do a track to track enclosure off a of bimini top. It's a real cool product. Chapter 22 talks about vents. How you want ventilation, how to put vents in, a, in a front of a boat up and out of the way at the top, or sometimes in the bottom, or in, on the sides like that. Um, 23 shows you some new tracks that are up, you see on the market. Some tracks that just, in my travels to all the boat shows, I've been able to go there and I take, I take a camera with me and I take hundreds of pictures of every little type of track, enclosure, frame design, anything I see that really looks unusual. So this way I'm able to add this to my my, my uh, tool bag of, of ideas and tricks and tips on how to make a better looking boat cover. Uh, chapter 24 talks about how to finish off and make a finer looking enclosure when you're done. Chapter 25 is to find little tips and tricks. 26, tra some tracks are built in the boat. Sometimes Viking yachts will take and mount a piece of aluminum track on the boat and then the fiberglass over, so you don't even know it's a track is near. You just see all you see is the opening of the little bead. It shows you pictures of that. Here it has some special track design to go on the side of the boat. So you look at it, and there's not a there's not a fastener across the whole track. It just the way they got it designed, um, they got it um, put in place there. So you don't see any screws at all. Um, chapter twenty seven talks about structural adhesives. You can actually heat track up there instead of putting screws in. A customer wants it really nice. Show some some samples. Of structural adhesive used to attract a stick of PVC track to a boat and you never you don't see any fasteners on it. Nice real clean look. Chapter 28 talks about panel openings, how to, where to put your openings and stuff like that. 29 is banded top and track. Banded top with a track application to it. Chapter 30 will go what not to do. Some jump not every job you look out there in the marketplace at the marina is always the greatest looking thing. So there, there are some pictures in there what not to do to, to make your boat, you know. You want your, you're done with your job, you want your the boat owner, his friends, his other boaters to walk by and say, wow, that really is sharp. That looks nice, not, oh, I bet you he got a good price for that job. So, chapter 31 is looking at a lot of finished projects. And 32, I call it the Tierra Surprise, where I was working on a Tierra, uh, trying to saw track on an arch and there's a foam padding screwed to the top of the arch, and by removing it, I noticed there was a, a gap, an inch and a quarter gap between that 
in the hard top where it's screwed to. So I, I show you how I, over, I overcame that by adding a tapered wedge piece of wood underneath that where it would, otherwise I would drill and try to mount the track to it in the closure and it fell right off. It's just things to look at. Chapter 33 is all the resources. Where you can buy your tracks, where you can buy your fasteners, your tapes, um, things like that. About me, it took, um, took me 12 years to compile this whole book. So I'm, I, hope you, I hope you get a lot out of it. Everybody that's bought a book, bought a copy, has talked to me about it. I mean, I'm, avail I'm available for resources, for research. Now, if you have a question, well, how did you do that? I could show, I could send you a blow up, bigger blow up picture of that image you're looking at. So sometimes you may not be able to understand it. I can give you a blow up or back it off to give you the ability to look at what it looks like, to, to all the details to it. Um, I said, I've been working in uh, Marine Canvas business since 1974, and this is 2021. I've spoken at MFA trade shows, NECPA, IFAI Expo trade show, CMCFA, uh, Zone 4. I've been, I've been to Australia three times and New Zealand twice doing presentations. I With a company I work with, I've even been to Turkey doing presentations on marine canvas fabrication and tracks and things like that. I own my own shop up in Michigan and I got tired of the cold weather, so I, I moved, migrated back to Florida, and which I enjoy the water. Um, my passion is boating, uh, sport fishing, and spending time with my grandkids. So you, if I can help you in any way, reach out to me. Um, but I hope you enjoy, and uh, please take care.